Hi guys, welcome, welcome to another P Carry 12 Productions video. Today we're going to install Mac OS 10.7 Lion onto a MacBook Air, 2010 MacBook Air. How do we do that? Well, what you need, uh, well, you don't actually need to do this with a DVD drive. You can do this with a flash drive, and it's not worth, as I said, paying the $19 for it. Uh, I mean, $99 for it. So, anyway, moving on. So, first thing you're going to need is a flash drive. I have a flash drive here. This is an 8 gig one. Uh, you can do this with a 4 gig one, I'm told, but um, in this case, I'm just going to have it on a 8 gig one because I'm putting some more software on in it as well. So, basically, what you need is, of course, your line download. Now, I'm an ADC developer member, so I downloaded this when it was released a few days ago. Uh, so, what you need to do is go straight into... Uh, where is it? Okay, here we go. I think I stored it on the desktop. No, it's downloads. There we go. Okay, so here's line right there. Uh, the Lion DMG. So what you need to do is take your USB flash drive, whether it's 4 gig or 8 gig, and plug it in. Okay. There's my flash drive. It's come up. Nice. Okay. So now we need to go to Disk Utility. Right. So the first thing you want to do is simply erase it in the appropriate format. So in this case it's going to be Mac OS Extended Journaled and I'm going to call this uh, Mac OS X Lion Beta 1. Okay, so I'm going to erase that now. Shouldn't take too long for that partition to erase. Okay, so that's done. So the next thing you want to do is hit restore. Now, the image you want to get is obviously the DMG. So if we go now into here, so we'll go straight into downloads, there's our line one. And we'll go open. Okay, so there's our line DMG. So now what we're going to do is have the destination go to this beta, and all you simply do is press restore. Put in your actual password. Okay, so this is actually going to take some time, obviously. And once it's complete, you'll have yourself a bootable uh, Mac OS Lion USB flash drive, similar to the Snow Leopard flash drive you get with the MacBook Airs, 2010 MacBook Airs. So that'll take about 30 minutes or so, so I will be back okay, when so this is done. It is now done, guys. Okay, so what we're left with is obviously, we can close out of that. We now go into that, you can see we now have the installation available here. So it's all there, it's all sorted. Now, all we need to do now is plug her into the MacBook Air and we'll go from there. Cheers. Okay, same procedure guys, pretty much how I showed you with the Mac OS. So here is our 8 gig uh, installation uh, for Lion. So we're going to stick this into the MacBook Air, 2010 MacBook Air. And we'll see how this installation goes. So I'm currently sitting in Leopard, Snow Leopard obviously. Uh, before I actually go through that though, I'm going to show you how to actually set up a partition. Alright, first things first guys, let's set up a new partition. So we go into Disk Utility. Uh, 
and we go into our Macintosh hard drive and we hit partition alright so now I'm going to add a partition this one will be a 30 gig one like so, just make sure I have enough space good, there's enough in there, nice Okay, I'm going to make it a 30 gig partition because that's really all you need. Obviously, set it to journaled and hit apply. Actually, cancel. I'm going to call this uh, HD. I'm going to call this Mac OS Lion. So I'll just call it Lion HD. Nice. So now I'm going to make my partition. And hit partition. Right, cool. So once this is partitioned, we will be moving on to the actual installation. Okay guys, we've got our USB drive in there, partition set. Now let's reboot the MacBook Air. Okay, you want to hit the Alt uh, button obviously so you can bring up the menu. And there she is, a Mac OS X. Okay, it's now booting into the installation. Okay, so we're going to choose our language, obviously, English, okay, brilliant, so now we're going to go continue, agree, we're going to select Lion, our new lovely thing there, so if we hit install, we're going to customize first, make sure we've got everything there, yeah, it's all good. So now we're going to install onto our new partition. This will take some time to do, so I will be back. Alright, so it's nearly done now, as you could probably see there. Alright, so it's rebooting. Radio. I'm not sure if it's actually booting into Leopard. Okay, something's obviously happening here. And back to the installation. Radio. Right, so that'll take me another 20 minutes or so, and it should be all sweet. Okay guys, so we're nearly done with the installation, I think. It says about less than a minute to go. Hopefully this will be the full installation of Leopard and this will reboot. I mean, sorry, not Leopard, Lion. <laughs> this is Mac OS 10.7 Lion. And it should be nearing completion at any moment now. Yeah, it says less than a minute, so this is the longest minute ever. Okay, shouldn't be too long, hopefully. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so install succeeded. So we're going to reboot.
should actually go straight into Leopard. There we go. Wow, it's the exact same intro as Lion, but the background's different. Yay! Alright, so we're in Australia. Continue. Obviously, keyboard needs to be Australian. And yeah, got nothing to transfer. Yeah, it's found my Wi Fi network. Nice. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's how we install. Uh, line on a USB flash drive on a MacBook Air. So let's see how this rolls and I'll see you all later. Cheers. Alright guys, so we're in Snow we're sorry, we're in Mac OS Lion. I'm just installing iOS. But as you can see, 10.7 nice on the lovely MacBook Air so I'll review this uh, down, later down the track when it's better and maybe explain some of the bugs I may come across but for now this is the installation on the MacBook Air 2010 MacBook Air 4 Lion cheers